Welcome to the Master on Tech channel, where today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we have a full custom keyboard that I have fully built from scratch, that I ordered all these parts custom, and so today we're going to be going over the build process, what the product is, and how you guys can potentially get your hands on this kind of stuff as well. This all was bought from a fabrication company out of China directly, and you know they're kind of a silent giant. Uh, where they make stuff for other companies as well, you know, some of their PCBs, the parts and everything. So without further ado, let's see what I got in the box and we'll see how it goes to put it all together. All right, and here it is. Here's our box. This came all the way from China. This is from Top Fast Technologies. These guys, they make PCBs and custom computer parts for a lot of boutiques and things. Here are the switches I got that go with it. These are Dataron Red Pros, even though the box on the back is not checked. There's nothing checked on these, but these are the Dataron Red Pros. They're super nice. And I take 45 grams of pressure to press down. They're really smooth, and they're definitely great for gaming. They're definitely something that I recommend to help prevent finger fatigue when typing. Now, now this box looks really pretty, and it is really nice. Uh, inside of here will be some extra goodies. Check it out. These are the key switches. Now, these are the same key switches that typically go on the boutique keyboard that is the Cybertruck keyboard and the same transparent keys I was able to get them in kind of dark black and green now inside the main giant package you have all the extra pieces here we have the top cover to the keyboard this is a anodized aluminum really nice you can see where all the switches are supposed to click into have the holes for the screws Again, is aluminum. Next inside here, we have the foam piece that is for helping, you know, for pressure and for sound. Now, this one was a little bit interesting. I actually had to get them to send me another one. I got the wrong foam piece, but that got sent to me free of charge. Then we got the bottom foam piece. Nothing too crazy. And now... Now we got the bottom foam piece. This is again for acoustics. This is where, you know, you put it underneath the board and this will allow for better sound. So it's not so hollow and clicky clack as you smash on your keys. And the PCB. I chose out of all the colors that options, this is the black board. And we do have, of course, the LEDs on the south portion of the switch holders where you put the keys into. And lastly, but not least, we have the black CNC'd anodized aluminum backplate. Now, of course, with inside of it, we do have all the screws and tools and all the standoffs and all the things that make everything work, and including extra feet pads, which, of course, that's only half the feet pads, so they do give you some extra ones. And, of course, all the extra screws that go with it. Uh, on the bottom, though, you do see two spots for holes. And, of course, we do have the big square hole in the bottom. Never really figured out what that's for. Doesn't really do much, but it does help, uh, I guess, with some sound leakage. Uh, but the screws in the back, with those big ones, those are for the top feet that it came with. They are super nice. Nice dome shape to them. And they have a rubber tip to them. I personally haven't had any issues with these. And of course, they don't have screws in it. You gotta take one of those screws out of all those little baggies. And put them all together here on the top left and the top right. But of course you can see, if you don't wanna use these, where those four feet 
originally that are in the box would go into those oval areas. So definitely something that is great. You know, if you want to have it at an angle, if you want it slightly rise up just a little bit more, definitely possible. And of course, with all these things, all these screws and all these pieces, well, we got to put them all together. So let's go ahead and get these things together and see how it turns out. All right, and the switches are Gateron Red Pros. These take about 45 grams of pressure to actually actuate and push down. Nothing too crazy. These are a bit on the lighter side, but these are great for long gaming sessions and being able to have it hold ease down for a long period of time, or even typing, where you don't have to press so hard. You can just freely move your fingers up and down, and it doesn't take much pressure. All right, and now that we got all those switches put into place, it is looking really nice. Next, let's go ahead and put these fancy keycaps on. Now, remember, the, the first black and green keys you saw were definitely not the ones that I stuck with. The transparency of them, not the best with, you know, bright LEDs. So I got these gray smoky ones that I'll be putting on here. And they work super great. And they are side printed. And honestly, do a great job at, at a angle. You know, if you want to lean back even, you can still see the keys. Let's go and get those put on there and see how it turns out. All right, now that we got those keys on there, looking really good. Nice smoky fade all the way down to the gray to the darks. Now, let's go ahead and see and hear how these red switches sound. Now, again, they take a really, really low amount of pressure, so this is great if you have cramps in your hands while you're typing. And again, so comfortable to use, especially in gaming. You don't have to use a whole lot of pressure, so you don't have to, you know, if you're holding keys down for long, it's not going to kill you. Let's go ahead and hear that sound test and how the typing went for it. And then, of course, after that, we're going to check out a little bit for that game and stuff, too. Now, depending on who you are and as far as, you know, the keys, sounds, and all that stuff, you can definitely hear it's a nice thud sound with these keys and these switches, especially with those foam paddings really do make a difference. And it's definitely something that I recommend putting into the keyboard is having those foam pieces to really dampen the sound so it's not as clickety-clack. Unless that's something you're going for, in which case, get you some blue switches and you know, go have a day with all the clickety-clacks. But now let's go ahead and check out the gaming portion and, again, how quiet those are and you know, the sound that you get from that. So let's check that out. All right, this is my custom full keyboard that I was able to build. This is from a company called Top Fast Technologies again. Their stuff, you know, can be purchased in bulk. This is a supplier, not an individual, but you can, if you sweet talk them, get yourself a sample kit and to do full customizations on this. So again, information for that will be down in the description below if you guys want to check them out. If you have any questions, there is a lot to go through. And if they send you as much as they sent me, you probably be a little overwhelmed. So again, I'm happy to help. They have lots of colors, lots of options, sizes, switches, caps, everything. It is definitely a lot to go through. So if, that, if I need to make another video on that and talking about options and how to choose these things, you know, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help and to be able to, you know, walk you guys through the process. Because, you know, making it is not the cheapest for, for the price, but... This way, you know exactly what goes into your keyboard. And if you already have it dialed in what you like, definitely something I recommend doing. But if you guys haven't done it yet, like and subscribe and go ahead and be a part of the journey through all of this. We'll get some more products headed your way. And feel free to hit the notification bell so when those go live, feel free to do that and join the fun. But until next time, guys, you guys have a good one. I'll see you guys then.